all know my name, um, but I'm going to introduce in depth more information about total physical response. Okay? Total physical response was first published by Dr. James Asher in his book Learning Another Language Through Actions, through kinetic movements, okay? Also coupled by a conversation. Uh, it, it tried to replicate the scenarios where a parent was trying to talk to their very young child. So, for example, the child would have a glass of milk in his hand or her hand and the mother would say, drink your milk. So they see this action and they try and replicate it. And with this teaching in the classrooms, they do it with more vocabulary. So drink your milk, then take a shower, then I want you to wash your underarms. Okay, so everything has a coupled movement to remember it by. It's like mnemonics, um, the memory technique, but with your movements. Okay, so who can it be used on? This method was first created for children because it tries to replicate the parent-child interactions. But as I'll go through in more detail later, it actually can be used on all age groups. So for example, we're just gonna do a quick game, but uh, so why I'm choosing a game is because total physical response relies and has a massive focus on these games Okay, they have them up and moving. So we're gonna play a quick game of charades. Everyone knows charades. I hope they do Okay, and I will use Radmil as my example. Okay, so I'm gonna tell Radmil um, Three words today just three. Okay, and then we're gonna move on and I want you guys to do it as fast as possible Okay Okay, she knows her word, all right? Let's go, let's go. I have to perform it? Yes, you have to perform it. Um, <laughs> yay! Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, now another quick one. All right, can I use realia? No, you can't no. use, you can't use your reality. Uh, so you can't use items. So... Mm. Two. Yay! Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Now our last one. Okay, this is going to be a bit different, okay? And I want you to understand um, the problems that this physical response, this total physical response can have. <laughs> wow. Can I say something? About no, it? and this is the difficult part. Oh my god. If that's, if that's okay if you can't get it. You can't get it? Jesus, I need something. You right. need some glasses? You need. <laughs> 3D glasses? Say? 3D glasses? So I can't show anything. No, and that's perfect. This is my example I wanted to, I wanted to give. Thank you. Thank you for your help. So I actually told her the word green sunglasses and here we encounter our first problem of total physical response. Okay, I can do as many movements as possible, but I can't do adjectives. Okay, I can't say green. I can't, I can do the smell of something, but I can't say it smells like butter. Total physical response is a great way to learn vocabulary. Okay, but it's quite difficult on older crowds to teach very specific things, okay? But I will talk about uh, that more in, more in depth. As you can see, what happened was they introduced the vocabulary and then they got up and they started moving around and they said, drive your car, eat your apple. And as you can see here, these weren't just children, okay? These were late teens. And as my example is you can use it for any crowd, okay? Um, and the good thing about this is you have an automatic grading system because if the student replicates your answer or your vocabulary and you can hear it and you can see it, then they subsequently have passed. If you can't, then it's, and there's always rapid correction saying drive your car. You know, not sit in your car, drive your car. And it's almost as if you made the mistake, it's corrected within the next second. Now, for another age group, which can be very difficult, is adults. With this, 
with this technique, it can be quite patronizing. You don't want to talk to a 45 year old man or woman who has a lot of things to do and say, all right, let's drive our car. Let's eat our apple. Okay, it's, it's quite patronizing. However, total physical response can be more subtle than everyone thinks. And my example, and I'm gonna use this example a lot in the TEFL course, is cooking, okay? And I believe cooking, when you go in and you have a bunch of adults and you say, okay, today we're going to make such and such, okay? It can be anywhere from beginner recipe to intermediate to advanced. And let's, let's take the example of an intermediate recipe, a butter chicken, okay, a curry. You have the adults identifying the ingredients that they, that they need to use. And they don't do this by saying, here is chicken. They just know it's chicken from the look of it, the smell, okay? And then you say, a pinch of salt. Then they replicate your actions, but in a subtle way, not to say, not to sound patronizing, okay? You're just saying what they need to do, and they replicate it. The grading system for this, I believe it would be the final product, as well as oral testing. So the adult comes up to me and he says, I present you my butter chicken curry. And I say, okay, tell me how you made this. And it's not patronizing. He is simply telling me what he's done. And then he tells me the process, the past tense, I mean, and any other tense. And then I can say, what would you add for next time? And then he would have to switch tenses in English subconsciously and then present to me what he would have done better. And also you see a practical, uh, a practical example of, or a practical um, uh, test, I suppose, of his, of his knowledge for the final product of the butter chicken. That is uh, just a brief synopsis of total physical response. As I said, it can be used for children and the focus was actually on children to start. Okay, and because it's great. They can get up, they can have fun, and they don't know they're learning English. They just think that they're having a fun activity, which is great. Then, as you saw before, with late teens, okay, in the video, the, the teens were concentrated, and this kept them a bit motivated. They're thinking, oh, it's kind of a bit embarrassing, but as they got going, you know, the, you could see them get into it. Drive your car, eat your apple, he's my friend, okay? These sort of things. And with adults, you can also have a perfect uh, kind of transition from total, total physical response into the subconscious learning of English. All right, so can anyone tell me what the main concept of total physical response is? Anyone, just, just shout it out to me. Movement. Movement, Movement. yes, body language, okay? You, you say it with your body and you, you reinforce it with the words you say. Okay, and did anyone learn something new about total physical response that they might have otherwise gone uncovered? Anyone learn anything new about total physical response? Or is it I'm all not new? <laughs> I'm not new. Okay, perfect. Well, pues chicos, ha sido un placer and it's been. Fantastic to explain to you about total physical response.